Hey y'all, it's Jay. Welcome back to my channel. As y'all can see, I'm sitting in my scrubs right now because I am about to go to work. If you have not looked at my how to set goals and how to keep them video, you may want to refer to that because right now I am balancing, okay? Doing what I want to do and doing what I got to do. Okay, so um, I want to come to y'all super quick this morning with this video on when to let go of relationships. I know for me personally, this is something that I've had to think about um i know it's something that my friends have had to think about and so i just thought that it would be a good topic to sort of address and help some other people kind of get some clarity about when a relationship just isn't healthy because the thing about it is i don't care how much social media fantasizes or think that it's funny or think that it's cute to be toxic or to have toxic relationships there's nothing fun about it there's nothing exciting about it. It's a headache, okay? And none of us should have to stay in relationships that do not benefit us and do not benefit the other person uh, for far too long, okay? And so for me, I've had to learn to let go of friendships. I've had to learn to let go of significant others. You know, people you thought that you would spend so much more of your time with than you actually end up spending your time with, or you spend far too much time with them and then the results end up being uh, a sort of a hindrance to your life. So that brings me to my first point, okay? Does this relationship help you grow or does it hinder you? Is there some things that you should be working on that you're not working on because this person is around you? Think about it. Are you growing? Are you moving forward? Are you getting healthier? Are you seeing improvements in your life? If not, and you're friends with this person and y'all spend a lot of time together, then maybe there should be some consideration for stepping back, for possibly even letting go of that relationship because no relationship in your life should hold you. And when I mean hold you, it should not keep you in a certain place. It should empower you to want to be better and it should empower you to grow. And if that relationship is not helping you to do that, then some reevaluation needs to definitely be done. Um, is this person stunning your growth or are they helping to support your healthy goals, okay? Some goals, of course, you know, you fly off the handle and you just doing way too much. But other things like you want to start caring about your parents more or you want to go back to school or you want to work on your business more, whatever the case is, whatever that thing is that helps you to reach your goals. If that person is not interested in that stuff or they try to tell you, don't worry about that or you shouldn't think about that or whatever, then maybe it's time to reevaluate because that's something that you want. You know, and if it's healthy for you, I don't see why there should be any disagreement about that. Uh, another thing I thought about was when you bring up a, a certain concern or an issue and you guys have a talk about it, right? And nothing changes. You know, even in the moment, you may get an apology or you may get some sort of clarity as to why the situation went the way it did. But if it keeps showing up in the relationship, then somebody's not listening and boundaries aren't being respected. And so that that makes me think that, OK, there needs to be some reevaluation in our relationship about whether or not this relationship is going to hurt or help me because this is a boundary that I've set and this is something that I've said I had an issue with and it takes the help from the other person as well to say, you know what, I agree, I'm going to change and to actually work on that thing. I also thought about, is this person a bad influence? Do they have you doing stuff that you wouldn't typically do? Doing stuff that you don't want to do? It's not good to be in bad company. It's not good to be in company with people that you feel are not leading you in the right direction. Okay? Um, you don't see value beyond spent time or memories or common interests in conversation. And what I mean by that is... You may feel like, hmm, 
I'm wondering, is this relationship necessary to keep having for whatever reason? And the only reasons you can think to keep this person around is, well, we grew up together and we talk about X, Y, and Z and we go out and we have drinks and we have fun. You know, that's my turn up partner. Or uh, we go shopping together or that's my homeboy. What? Okay, whatever. All that. It sounds nice and it sounds cute and I'm glad you had a friend, but that does not mean that they have to go into the next chapter of your life. Okay, you can relate with people on different levels, on more meaningful levels than to just say, well, this was my childhood friend or we have common interests. Life is bigger than that. You know, that's just a part of being a basic human being, building relationships and having commonalities with people. That doesn't mean that this person has to stay in your life forever because y'all have some common interests. Okay, um... Trauma bonds. Yes. Okay. So if you met this person in a very dark time in your life and you've moved out of that time in your life and y'all no longer have anything in common, like literally, or you have a few things in common, but the main thing that y'all have in common is the trauma bond, being able to reminisce on what y'all were going through. If we can't see past, we ain't there no more. We moving forward then what are, what are we really talking about? We don't want to bond over trauma anymore. We want to bond over healthiness and wholeness if that's where we are, okay? We don't want to keep talking about the past. We don't want to keep uh, referring to our old selves. We want to talk about the new, okay? If you're spiritual, does this person distract you from God? Because that is a number one indicator of whether or not this relationship is a relationship to go for. Really, I could have put this at the top of the list. If this person distracts you from God, the number one source in your life, then that is a clear indication that this relationship is not sent from him. It's not meant for you to continue on in. And the thing is, there are chapters in life, okay? Just like there's chapters in a book. When you finish a chapter, you move to the next one. And do they put the same words in chapter one and chapter two or in chapter three? No, because you shut the book and you get bored, right? Or it would be repetitive. You don't take certain things from one chapter of your life to the next some relationships are only meant to stay in that chapter of your life and when you try to bring them into further chapters then it begins to hinder you and it begins to pull you back from where you should be going um does this person pray for you does this person pray with you does this person encourage you does this person uplift you things like that have you met this person and you've started to notice things are going missing in your life whether that's physically spiritually mentally you don't have no no physical rest you don't have no mental rest you don't have no peace they always asking for something they always need something they always going through something just negativity it's not heaven sent okay god wants you to have meaningful relationships anything outside of that is charity work and charity work is just as important, but we have to know the difference between when we are sowing into others and we're being, uh, we're just meant to be a blessing to others than to when you're talking about being in a relationship. A relationship takes two. It's a two-way street, okay? We have to be mindful about that. So I'm going to leave you with this because I know I've talked a lot and I actually need to be running out of the door but iron sharp is iron you want to be around people who have not the exact same mindset but they have the same values okay the things that you both find important are priority and if you're dealing with somebody who doesn't find what you value valuable and vice versa Y'all just going to continue to bump heads. If you're on this video and a specific person has come to mind, 
the entire time you've been watching this or even for a portion of this video then you may want to reconsider that relationship i'm not telling you what to do and some of this that i've said on this video you may not even agree with but these are things that have helped me these are things that i've known to help other people and you may just want to take some time to think about it, to pray about it, to have a conversation with this person, to say, these are the things that I'm feeling. I want better for our relationship. What can we do to move forward? None of this means that this person is a bad person, okay? And it doesn't mean that you're a bad person for even feeling like, wow, I can't believe we're at this point of me having to question whether or not we need to remain friends. But it's... It's necessary to understand the circumstances and understand that you got things to do, you know, and you don't want to be distracted in any area of your life. You don't want to be distracted because you got things that you need to be focused on. And this just may mean that you guys need to create space. It doesn't mean that you don't have to be friends forever and y'all beefing and all that other kind of rah-rah stuff. It don't mean none of that. It simply means that maybe some space needs to be created in the relationship so that you both can move forward. This is not only for you, but it's also for them, for them to go find out things that they need to find out about their own walk and their own purpose. Okay, so I hope this helped. I hope I didn't talk too much, but it is definitely something I'm passionate about because I have lost plenty of many of friendships, relationships, whatever. I've lost a lot of them, but they've turned out to actually not be a loss because where I am now, I wouldn't be here without letting go of those situations and making room for the new friendships and relationships that I have in my life. So I hope this helped you. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if this has helped you, if you've had to make some adjustments, if you've had to let go of some relationships, or if these things have actually strengthened your relationship because both of you were willing to work on the relationship. Okay, you guys have an awesome day and I will do the same.